In our last video, we talked about the M control system architecture. In this video, we're going to delve a little bit deeper into the architecture and specifically talk about some tools that we can use to control how M control operates. But first, let's consider the following simplified uh, M control system architecture. In this system architecture, we've separated M control into three distinct units. First of all, there are the drivers. These are the various interfaces that M control uses to talk to digital home devices. We talked a little bit about the various kind of drivers, Instian, MB, Z-Wave, IP cameras, security systems, and so on. There are many, many drivers and third-party drivers available. We'll get to that in a later video. We also talked about the M control base or M control core system, which consists of the base system and several other optional modules. This is really the hub of M control because this is where all the activity happens. Uh, when M control automation is running, it's dictated by the base system and the other optional modules. Then, of course, there are the user interfaces and we talked about the various different kinds of user interfaces, mobile, iPad, and just the regular desktop interfaces. But in this video, we're going to start focusing on two specific tools, and they are the M Control Service Manager. This is a specific UI tool that we'll be using to control how M Control operates. And then also there is another tool called the M Control Editor. And again, that controls how M control operates and is configured. But uh, the difference between these two tools is the M control service manager, and this is key, is allows you to configure your drivers and how the M control core system operates. So that's the, that's the main purpose of the M control service manager. On the other hand, the M control editor allows you to define your various devices, like which devices you're going to be connecting to and what, what are they called. What zones do you want to locate these devices? And then macros, which is the automation you want to put to these uh, uh, devices. So these are two very special tools that we'll consider. But first, in this video, we're going to talk specifically about the M Control Service Manager. So let's get to it. To get to the M Control Service Manager, you would start your favorite browser and then in the address bar enter in the following address http colon slash slash and the address of the PC where M Control is installed. I've entered localhost because M Control is installed on the same PC that I'm working on. Then slash M Control and then slash admin.aspx. Now you'll often hear us call the service manager different things. Of course, one is just service manager, one is manager, or administrator. And that's why we have the admin.aspx as the nomenclature for accessing the service manager. So let's enter that. And when it starts, you'll notice that uh, we're presented with the M Control Service Manager screen. And let's just take a look at a few of the sections of the screen. Let's first look at the very top part of the screen. This is the main control hub for the M control engine. It allows you to start, stop, or restart M control. Generally speaking, M control will, will be running all the time, but there are occasions where you may want to stop it. For example, if you're making changes to physical adapters, plugging them in, taking them out, uh, setting up devices, when you're making physical changes, it's always a good idea to stop M control. Also, there's a restart button. Now, you will use this button if you're making changes to drivers, their settings. Once you've saved those settings, you want to restart M control to start using those new driver settings. The next section we're going to look at is the ta following tabs. There's four tabs that we can look at at the M control service manager. The main tab, and we're you will come the most of the time when you're coming to the M Control Service Manager is the adapter tab. The adapter tab allows you to adjust drivers and their settings. So if you wanted to configure a driver, you would 
start the amp control service manager select the adapters tab and then navigate to the driver that you want to change so let's consider the instian driver i'm going to just take press on this and we can look at the instian drivers available here we can see that it's currently set to com 15 if we right click we can edit it we could enable or disable it make some very uh, changes to the actual configuration settings for this driver and once we're done we can save them or cancel them if we've made changes we'll likely want to do a save where there's a button at the bottom down here that allows you to save the driver settings and then we'll want to do a restart because we want to make sure that M control restarts again with the new driver settings okay so the next tab we want to look at is the app setting tab and most of the settings here are out of the scope of this video but suffice it to say that these are uh, settings that allow you to define core system operation and again outside of the scope of this video but uh, uh, and you may only come here once or maybe never the M control server log tab is a very useful uh, tab because it allows you to see a historical uh, record of M control operation for if for example if I select the 000 file this which is the most recent file and these are less recent files in order I can load this file and see what was happening to M control for example I can see that when we started we uh, started the database manager at around uh, 9 13 p.m. another log uh, area is the session log area which is really just a history of the M control service managers log this is the M control service managers logs but this is the overall system log so there's a slight difference here and generally speaking you won't come to this one but you will come to this one to see how M control is operating and but most importantly you will probably come to the adapters tab and use the top buttons here so in summary we've looked at the M control service manager its function is to allow you to make some changes to drivers and system operation the most important tab is the adapters tab but you may also look at the server log which is the history of the system operation and you may also want to use the buttons to restart stop or start M control very important uh, configuration tool and next week we'll talk about the M control editor which is another very important configuration tool until then thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon bye